live in a really beautiful place, this a potato farm, like with the ocean behind it. I mean, stop it. <laughs> This job where I traveled. It in fact took me to Boston. I ended up playing an open mic and uh, you know I, le I left my first little EP at that point. That was, that was like 2000 and 2002. I've been to Nine months later I feel like that journey began where I was invited to come down and play and it, there was no question in my mind that that's where I needed to be. The festival wasn't gonna pay you know, like I had no idea I was going to be playing with, I had no idea where I was going to stay, I just felt like I needed to go. And, um, you know, because this place, Club Passim, was filtering through all of these incredible people that I was inspired by and influenced by and listening to, and I'm like, oh my god, they play here. And I'm a huge music fan. I'm constantly listening to new music, I'm constantly pumped when new albums are coming out by artists that I love. I just feel like the experience of music is so incredible when you you know you can play completely by yourself and carry a show by yourself and then there's this element of like who knows what could happen if you invite other people up I grew up with such a strong sense of community and I think that's the part about it that I attend to that's the part that my kind of heart goes to that's the thing that's similar between where I grew up and this and this Boston gang is that it's about a group of people coming together to make something awesome. All the stars through the trees. Do you look at these? Look, I look to you to be the one for me. Well, my idea was that I would do this Boston EP and I would do this project. I had a, a small grouping of songs that were done and I was like, ah, we'll go in and we'll boom it out. It'll be great. And I just kind of had this thought of like, maybe we could find someone to come in and film it. Fly the birds by and by. You might think that as a songwriter that I would be good at talking about my feelings, but I actually most of the time I'm not, and the song is is my vehicle to even find out what I'm feeling. Those songs that hit me that I can't stop listening to and you know or that I seek when I'm going through a particular thing are helping me exercise an emotion. It makes me feel like I'm a little bit less crazy. You can lock the door, yeah, you know how you can stay alone. You're so proud. Being in constant motion is really hard. But it keeps me stirred. And I think inevitably that's a good thing. <laughs> and also the motion brings me to, to new places, it brings me to new people. I seek a connection with, with the audience because I couldn't do what I do without them. And, and it is about the musical conversation that's happening. It's happening on stage between collaborators. And if I'm on the stage by myself, you know, more of it and most of it is happening between me and the audience. What is it you want from me? Is there something yeah. that there's, a, there, there's those moments when you haven't written a song for a really long time, you're like, well, that's it. It was, a good, it was a good go. I guess I figure if I, if I keep moving and I keep um, exploring things both inside and outside of myself that I don't know how there's any lack of songs that could be written. And also every song is a love song anyway. I mean, love is endless and totally annoying. Reading everything I 